So which email marketing software is best for you? Well, there are loads of options out there. And after having done email marketing for over a decade now, building a list of nearly a quarter million subscribers, I can honestly tell you that email marketing is the number one driver of revenue for most businesses and brands online, mine included. And if you don't choose the right tool or switch over to the right tool, it can mean failure right from the start. But don't worry, because in this video, I'm gonna share with you my number one pick for the best email marketing software that you can use right now. Plus, if you stick around to the end, I'm also gonna give you my number one email that you should be sending to your audience to help you capture more relevant information and potentially even make more money too. So stick around for that. Here's the criteria that I used to make this selection for you. Number one, easy to use. We want an email software that is not confusing and overwhelming. We wanna pick something that's easy so we can send more emails and get more results, not spend a bunch of time trying to figure things out. Number two, reliability. Some email marketing platforms just aren't reliable at all from deliverability to even uptime. If you don't use a platform that's reliable, it'll be a complete waste of time. Trust me, I know from my own experience using several other tools in the past. Number three, we want top-notch support. You wanna know that the company has your back and will be there to support you if you need help. Unfortunately, a lot of tools that were once great now have new focuses and are not supporting their customers like they used to. Number four, we want some pre-built in tools, things that we don't have to necessarily pay extra for. Great email marketing software has additional features like landing pages and pre-designed forms and even the opportunity to tag and segment your audience too. Like I said, this can cost a lot extra, but not with the tool that I'm gonna be recommending to you. And fifth and finally, we want an affordable price, something that's not going to break the bank. And in fact, this tool I'm gonna to recommend to you, you can get for free for up to 1,000 subscribers. So what is this tool? What is this called? It's called ConvertKit. I've been personally using ConvertKit in my business since 2014, and it's been an absolute game changer for how I do what I do. And in fact, I've fallen in love so much with this company that I eventually went on to become an advisor for the company too. So whether you are a beginner and you're just starting out and you wanna make the right selection and not break the bank, or you are advanced and you want access to more advanced tools like tagging, segmentation, visual automation tools, even e-commerce, ConvertKit has that for you. So let me take you into the computer. I'm gonna show you around a little bit and show you why I think it's the best tool for you. All right, so here we are in the dashboard of ConvertKit and here on the home front, you could see a lot of different things like the chart for subscriber growth over time. You can even see purchases if you have them. But I wanna show you just how simple it is to create a landing page and a form. If I go to the landing pages in form signups area and hit create new, I can either pick a form to just drop into my website super easy, or even if you don't have a website, you can in fact have ConvertKit host a page for you to begin to collect emails. So for example, uh, you could choose between a whole bunch of different templates here. I'm gonna choose this first one, Abby. And then all I have to do is just customize this. I don't need to know any code or anything. And you might be like, oh, well, where can I get some images? I'm just gonna click on this image and choose an image. And what's cool is it is integrated with, first of all, your Instagram, if you wanted to, or Unsplash, which is a free tool built into this where you can select, for example, if I'm promoting something related to you know email marketing, I'm just gonna type email marketing and I'll put, uh, let's add uh, this image here, why not? That's a little bit too big, okay, let's click and edit that and let's make it a little bit smaller. I'm gonna crop this, this is all again within ConvertKit. So I'm gonna go here just cause I want this little tiny segment, done, done. Boom, there we go. Catchy headline goes here, some other text here and as you can see, I can just simply click and change things around, insert, Cool, copy here. Let's say I want to also add the ability to collect a person's name. Okay, let's make this the name field. So I'm gonna hit custom field, first name, and I wanna move this around. Okay, let's move this up here, and I'm gonna change the button text from subscribe to get instant access. Obviously, I would decorate this a little bit more, maybe have a different background image, go to general style, background, same thing, unsplash. This is where I would do, let's try email marketing again. And I'm gonna add this one of like an office or something. There you go, super easy to use. And then all I have to do is save and publish. And this is literally now on the internet. I'm gonna hit share, click to copy, go to a new website. 
that is the link there and boom, this is already ready for you to collect emails. So if you're coming out with a website very soon or if you happen to be launching something very soon, you just simply use this to build as many landing pages as you would like. The next section that's super easy to use is the broadcast area. I love the broadcast section because this is where we send emails. I'm gonna hit new broadcast. It does give you a good record of previous emails that you've sent, click through rates, all these sorts of things and data behind them. But I'm gonna send a new email. What's cool about this, and you'll notice this, this is a little bit more advanced, but this is again, built into ConvertKit. Let's say that I only wanna send an email to people who are in my podcasting course. So I'm gonna to go to subscribe to tag, power up, podcasting, all students, add filter. So now it'll be nearly 3000 students, but I also don't wanna send it to people who are also in my email marketing course. So tag and let's do email marketing students. So email marketing magic. And you'll notice it's 2,744 subscribers, add filter, it should be less. So that removed the people who are in my email marketing course. So now if I wanted to promote my email marketing course, and I didn't wanna promote it to people who already had it, but I knew they were students of mine. All I have to do is hit next step. So that's how we determine who we send to. Now it's just super easy. Email marketing magic is now open. Then I can go to next step. I'm not gonna send this cause that would be very weird right now. Uh, but this is just an example. I can in fact schedule this for later. So I, I'm gonna schedule it for tomorrow at 6.30 AM Pacific, schedule broadcast or I can just save it for later. And that's another very powerful, easy thing to do. Now, the most powerful thing, and the thing that I wanna share with you is in the automation section. Now, there's so many things I could share with you in here, but I just also just wanna show you what's very unique about ConvertKit. Two things here. If I go to automations, I'm gonna talk about what you were seeing here in just a minute, because this is the most powerful thing. But if we just go to sequences, we can get access to our traditional sequences of emails or autoresponders. We can see a lot of data behind a lot of the sequences that we already have. If we go to new sequence, they're very easy to create. Test sequence. And you'll see when I hit the sequence, we now have open an amazing tool. This is building out our autoresponder all in one spot. This will be the email that gets sent out immediately. So let's make this immediate. Then we're gonna add another email that gets sent out, mm, let's say seven days later, a week later. Cool. Let's send another email and then another email. We can even use this filtration process like we did in the last section to remove people from receiving certain emails. So imagine that you have a whole sequence of emails, what's called sometimes a nurture sequence, and then you wanna promote a product within that. Well, we definitely don't wanna promote that to people who already have it. So even in the automated sequences here, we can have a filter that says, okay, do not send or matching none of the following. I don't want anybody who's in power up podcasting to receive this email. Boom, add filter to group. Now, anybody who happens to be in my course already is not gonna get this email that says, get access to power up podcasting today. Special deal, right? I don't wanna send emails to people who already have my courses about getting into my courses. And this is just one of the fun things about sequences, but let's take sequences to a whole nother level. If we go back here, we can now create what's called an automation. And an automation is a visual way to see what is happening from a high level perspective. And this is so, so powerful and such a good thing for even beginners to learn. So based on where people come from, we can tag them as such, however we'd like, and then send them to certain emails. So for example, I can go click new automation and we're gonna create one together. Create automation. When a person mm, joins a form or makes a purchase, let's click joins a form. And let's say they join this form here, which is our uh, 100 email challenge. So I'm gonna hit add event. Cool. I can also add another form. Let's say when a person purchases something, I want the same thing to happen. So maybe when a person purchases something from Stripe or makes a Stripe payment, sure, why not? So now when these things happen, I can have people be tagged. So I added an action, add tag, and I wanna create a tag, uh, let's do um, email challenge tag. Okay, so when people come in from either of these places, they get the email challenge tag. Then what do, what do we want to happen? I'm gonna click plus. Now let's give them a sequence, right? So let's give them an email sequence right away. We can add a delay if we want. I can just go back here and add this too. Uh, delay, let's delay uh, two days, add action. Then I wanna give them the email sequence. Let's add that test one that we did before. 
or I can add one. Test sequence two. Test sequence two, add action. Now what's cool about this is I don't have to go back to sequences to go and edit this. I can just click here and it opens up right on the side. I get to see and remember where people came from, what they got tagged with, and then now know what emails they are getting. Let's send them this one immediately. Let's send the next one after that the next day. Sure, let's send another one a week after that. And can I, I can always come in here and rearrange these emails, add more. Maybe I want a different one to be first. We can go from there. This is such a, this, this right here is what would normally cost thousands of dollars in other tools that I've used. And this is just here within ConvertKit. This is why ConvertKit is the best. Access to beautiful tools that are simple and easy to use, but very powerful and inexpensive. And that's ConvertKit. And this is why I love it so much. So if you have any questions about it, let me know in the comment section below. I know this tool inside and out. And I have direct access to the people there in case you have any other questions or want to know anything else. Also, if you are interested in this product and you want to get access to that free subscription for up to 1,000 subscribers, all you have to do is go to the affiliate link that you're seeing on the screen right now. And I'll mention this affiliate link below in the description too. I do get a little kickback as a result if you go through that and end up paying later on, but I wouldn't be offering this to you if I knew it wasn't helpful. And before I let you go, there's that email that you need to send to your audience. I guarantee you this will be a game changer for you. So here is this email. This is something that you would likely want to put into your email autoresponder, like I mentioned earlier, or you can just send this out to collect this information up front from all the people on your list at the same time. And that is sending an email that is in fact a question. And that question should be, what are you struggling with right now? Or what's your number one challenge related to blank? And you can fill in the blank related to your target market. What this does is it number one, it gets people to want to reply and respond, which helps Gmail and Yahoo and Hotmail, all the other email clients understand that your email is not one that should be blacklisted. Because if a person's replying, it's implying that this is a real person and there's a real conversation happening, which in fact, it is a real conversation. Secondly, it's very unusual for a content creator to in fact, ask for a reply. This allows you to create a connection directly with your audience and have a conversation with them too. Thirdly, imagine the responses you're getting to that question. What are you struggling with right now? You're hearing directly from your target audience about what it is that they need help with. There's no more guessing involved. You're actually collecting this information so that you can create blog posts, podcast episodes, other YouTube videos, and maybe even products and courses down the road related to the patterns that you see with the responses that come in. And fifth and finally, if this is in fact in an autoresponder sequence, if you get new subscribers every day, guess what else you're getting every day? Eventually, these replies from your audience automatically. Have an assistant go in there, allow them to collect these things, put them into a spreadsheet so you can better analyze them, and you can go from there. This will completely change the game in your business. And that's the one email I recommend you include once you set up your email. So if you'd like to set up your email from scratch or migrate to a tool that is best for you, the best email marketing software is ConvertKit. I stand by that. I use it myself and I recommend it to all my students too. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you'd like to go through my affiliate link, I get a little bit of a kickback for that at no extra cost to you. My affiliate link is in the description below. I'll also pop it here on the screen for you to check out. Thank you so much in advance for that. And if you have any questions about this tool, please let me know. I know it in and out and I can help you with your decision. Thank you again. I appreciate you hit that subscribe button. If you haven't already, I'm here to make content creation easier, more fun and profitable. My name is Pat Flynn. Appreciate you. Take care and I'll see you in the next one. And uh, check out this video right here. YouTube is telling you that this is what you want to see. So this video right here, click on that and I'll see you there too. Thanks again.